down here, we initially had another bucket into leading the salt water going into here, but we didn't want to keep it going because, like we said earlier, the heating element isn't hot enough to keep the water rapidly getting very hot. So inside of here is very hot, so I don't want to touch it, but uh, there's steam being just constantly coming out, and it's flowing through the PVC into a funnel to the PVC up here. If you can't see behind you, there's an elbow going in at an angle in here, and then as you can see, there's ice filling this whole entire bucket. So there's steam flowing through the PVC, and as it's going in here, because of the ice, uh, all the steam should condense into water, and as the steam, water is condensing and is dripping into the cup, and it's gradually being collected. So all the water in the cup should be desalinated and purified. And in the end, there should, if all the water were to be boiled out, the only thing left in the box should be salt, and everything in the cup should be purified water. To um, here's the heating element in the center, and the thermostat, and it's wired, so the power comes through the thermostat, and it's supposed to kick on like at a 120 degrees or so, and then it'll stop the heating element from getting the water in the bucket too hot, and it'll cut it off at like 180 degrees or so. Is there water in the cup? There is water. There is water in the cup right now. Actually, I still see the steam coming out. Is it melting? Nope. All right. If I can see the water, I'll drink it. You want to see the After drinking it, there is no salt. Yeah, that's a hard After the water has been desalinated, it would pour into two cups. But we decided not to use actual water. And so basically, the robot just transports the cups onto the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt moves the cups 